What's good everybody? A lot of y'all have been wanting me to do product reviews for a while and that's exactly what we're doing in today's beer biceps video. Today's product is Muscle Blaze's new whey protein, Whey Gold. But before I get to the actual product review, I just want to make two things clear. Firstly, right from the day I started Beer Biceps, till today, until wherever and whenever I can take this channel, the number one fact I keep in mind is honesty. If I'm not going to be honest with my viewers, there's no point of this channel by itself. That's what I believe in. I will only recommend a product if I use it myself, if I put that same product inside my own body. And I'll only recommend a product if it's a genuinely good product. That's what you've got to keep in mind. If I don't believe in a product, I'll make sure I tell you guys. And the second thing I want to tell you guys is that as with any other concept in fitness, even if we're talking about product reviews, I want to do it from a scientific perspective and a logical perspective. Let's talk about logic first. If you watch any of my videos on whey proteins, I keep talking about how when you're selecting a whey protein, give priority to how much it's priced at. A lot of my viewers are school kids, college kids and young working professionals. And for us, our life hasn't even begun yet and I feel like saving money is much more important than making gains in the gym. And that's also something I have against the whey protein industry, in India especially. A lot of the whey proteins are priced very high. And a lot of people like us, it doesn't make sense to constantly spend that much money every 2-3 months. That's why I say give priority to the pricing. And that's also a huge reason I believe in this particular product. Now, Whey Gold is priced at about 4,800 rupees per 2 kg box. So it boils down to about 74 rupees per scoop of this protein. And it'll last you, say, around two, two and a half months, which I feel is a good deal, firstly. Secondly, you need to understand that other whey proteins, especially the ones that are imported, are very expensive for two reasons. The first reason is that when you import a product, there's a lot of import duty, import tax levied on that product and that makes the price shoot up for consumers like us. And the second thing you've got to understand is that sometimes those foreign companies, if they're selling you a very high quality product, that's when the price shoots up as well. Because to make a high quality product, you need to spend more in the manufacturing process. This is where the science comes in. So everyone knows about the science of whey proteins. It's derived from milk. When you're converting milk into paneer, the whey, the water that's left behind, that's where you get whey protein from. Now when you put that water through microfiltration, which is an industrial process, you get something called whey protein concentrate. Now that whey protein concentrate is what most normal whey proteins are made from. But the downside to that is that it's slightly high on carbs thanks to the lactose content, it's slightly high on calories thanks to the slightly higher fat content, and it doesn't get absorbed as easily as a more purer version. Now what is this more purer version I'm talking about? When you put that whey protein concentrate through a purification process, it turns into a whey protein isolate. And this product makes use of a whey protein isolate as its raw material, which is also one of the big advantages of this particular product. An isolate has the added advantage of being low on carbs, low on calories, and it gets absorbed faster. But the biggest advantage for this product is that unlike other isolates, this is priced like a whey protein concentrate. It's priced at a much lower price. The main reason I suggest that you shouldn't buy isolates is because they're a little bit expensive. Isolates are like 10,000 rupees for 2 kg boxes. So you're spending about 150 rupees per scoop. If you go for a regular whey protein concentrate, you're spending about 70 to 80 rupees per scoop. So this product is giving you that kind of isolate level advantage at the price of a whey protein concentrate. And that's one of the biggest reasons I recommend this particular brand. Now, let's go over the advantages super fast. Firstly, obviously the price. Secondly, the quality of the product is super high thanks to the raw material they've used. But the third and most important factor for me is the transparency when it comes to the product. Now, let me explain this super fast. Now, I'm a fitness influencer. I interact with people from the fitness industry, the bodybuilding industry, other fitness influencers every day. And amongst that circle, the rumor going around is that most Indian whey protein brands import their raw material from China. Now here's the issue with importing raw material from China. The rumor says that most Chinese raw whey proteins are actually derived from keratin, which is derived from human hair. It's a little bit fishy. Now again, there's no proof about this, but what I believe as a fitness influencer and as your online coach is that it's always better to be safe than to be sorry later. When I'm buying a particular product, I want to know where it's sourced from, where it's derived from. Is it safe for me to put it inside my own body? Is it good for my health? 
I want transparency and that's what this brand is offering. If you look at this box, it's clearly stated that the raw material for this whey protein is derived from USA. It's derived from US dairy farms, which are some of the best dairy farms in the world. So the milk that's originally used to make this whey protein is got from grass-fed cows which are in the US and not that Chinese raw whey protein. Now again, that's not confirmed. But if other brands offered me transparency like this, that's when I would even look at other brands. That is why I've always recommended a brand like Muscle Glaze for transparency. And speaking about the other aspect of transparency, this particular product has an NABL stamp. An NABL stamp is basically like a government stamp that says that, okay, this product is healthy and it's safe for human consumption. So those were the advantages of this whey protein. But in my opinion, no product review is complete without talking about the disadvantages of a product. The only disadvantages that actually stuck out for me was the carb content. When you look at the nutrition per scoop, it's got about 110 calories, 25 grams of protein per 30 gram scoop, which is an 83% protein content. It's got 0.46 grams of fat and about 1.83 grams of carbohydrate. Most of the isolate proteins have about one gram of carbs per scoop or 1.2 grams of carbs. This has about 1.83, so it's got that 0.83 grams more. But when you think about it, a pod of garlic has about one gram of carbs. So you're just having a slightly higher bit of carbs with every scoop, which according to me isn't really a big disadvantage when you compare it to all the other advantages. And that's why the final verdict on this particular product is that it's definitely a great product and you can go and buy it very safely. If you want to know more about the product, I've linked it in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Either way, guys, that was the product review today. I hope you guys liked it. I want to know what you guys think of these product reviews. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, give me names of other products that you would like me to review. I constantly want to put out videos of value to you guys. Keep in mind, every single product review is 100% honest. But if you want to see more product reviews, I need you to give me thumbs ups on this video. And I need you to give me recommendations. Either way guys, until next time, from Ranveer on Beer Biceps, I will see you.